What's up guys? We're at the Sacramento River. I'm gonna test out this Honda outboard motor from my last video, do a little fishing, and I'm gonna do a little speed test on a two-stroke versus four-stroke motor. I got a 7.5 Honda versus a eight horsepower two-stroke Nissan. So let's see what happens. It's finally idling right. All right, first time testing out this motor. Hopefully it's better than the last time. We're gonna go up current this time because we got a ripping current pushing us down. And so far, so good. I got my other motor here in case this one dies because I know this one runs good. I slipped up the water, that was the issue for the last video, so that's good. Uh, this boat's really squirrely, so I had to shift my weight around put that up on the bow. So yeah, let's see what it does. It's a squirrely. familiar with the difference between a two-stroke versus four-stroke motor, let me give you a quick breakdown. Two-stroke motors require two piston strokes to complete a combustion cycle, while four-stroke motors require four piston strokes. With the less strokes, two strokes run at higher RPMs and get up to speed faster. They're lighter in weight since you pre-mix the two-stroke oil with the gas, but they are less fuel efficient and tend to leak fuel when you're running them. Four strokes on the other hand are more fuel efficient but are typically heavier since they have an oil reservoir built into the motor and typically have more components than a two stroke. Both my Honda and Nissan motors have about the same horsepower so I'm really curious if there's a significant difference in the speed between these two types of motors. Right, let's do a speed test going downriver with the current. I'm thinking we should hopefully get about 20 miles an hour. Let's find out. I'm a dummy and I forgot to screw down the fuel pump screws and it was leaking oil and it wasn't running right. Now that's fixed. Still pumping good water. Running good. Maybe I spoke too soon. All right, I think I got it dialed in now. I just had to adjust the idle mixture screw. Um, it was a little bit too low, so I had to give it a couple turns. So now, I'm in the lowest idle possible. And now it's not shutting off. Before it was shutting off at the lowest. Still pumping good water. Got my Nissan on, this thing always ran good. I haven't started in a couple months and started up second pole. So let's do a speed test of this. This two stroke weighs like half the weight compared to this Honda. So let's see how fast we can get. We're going downstream right now. See if I can break 20. It definitely gets up a lot faster. I'm gonna do a speed test against the current with the Nissan. It just gets 
up so much faster on plane. So as you saw, both motors were pretty similar in speed. Um, the Nissan's slightly faster than the Honda, which is kind of expected since it's half a horsepower more. But yeah, I was curious if the Nissan was going to be significantly faster um, since it's a two-stroke, but um, I was wrong. But overall, I prefer the Nissan a lot more since it's like half the weight of the Honda. And you can definitely tell maneuvering the boat that the Nissan maneuvers the boat a lot better than the Honda. I think because the Honda's heavier, that extra weight on the transom just makes it not as comfortable to maneuver the boat around and shifting your weight. So overall, I prefer the Nissan. Caught a little corbicula clam. And it's still alive. Look at that. Man, I need to get rich enough to have a water slide going straight to the river from my house.